Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time to dive into a new series. A game that has been suggested many many times to me, namely TerraTech. Hooray! Let's get started in TerraTech. Here we are in the world, the tutorial portion of it we can Rotate the camera using the right mouse button, we can attach blocks just like a crazy madman and it basically tells us how to assemble the most basic of vehicles called techs in this game. Here we also have a little machine gun that we can place on the top of it and finally a drill for the front. Right now you can see we are in this building beam, this is the building mode, we can simply access that using B and drive around as you would expect WASD and we can even shoot using the spacebar. And of course we're being attacked right away as a little test so let's get this thing going and we're going to take him hopefully apart and not die at the first fight. You never know. There you go, he actually dropped a gun and the cool thing about this game is you can assemble and disassemble your vehicles on the go. So I just took this laser and now it actually belongs to us. What we want to shoot at is his cab right here, kind of the cockpit and this will make everything explode. You don't necessarily want to take apart the additional blocks on the vehicles because you can of course utilize them yourselves. Also right here we get a stabilization wheel for the back or the front and maybe we put some more wheels just like that. Holy cow, so a quest marker has appeared here on the other side though there is another enemy very nearby, maybe let me check him out. He's a mini drill tail. There we go, he's behind the rocks, we can just freely hit him. Maybe let's move around a little bit, I think he cannot maneuver right now. We're also gonna grab this additional block, thank you very much, and take the rest of him apart, there we go. There's even additional things, for instance a lamp that we can utilize during the night. There is actually a day and night cycle in this game. And do we need additional wheels? I guess we can complete that by attaching the last two right there. We do not need an additional drill, we already have one, so let's go ahead and move towards this quest marker. Okay, so the smoke column might be a part of our base bomb. We'll have to figure that out, we might be able to find some stuff. And indeed it is actually a solar generator. Those guys you actually need in order to start up a new base. So let's see, what is a nice spot to start a base? Maybe right here would be a good spot. We just plot it down on the floor and the tutorial continues by giving us a repair bubble. Of course as long as it is daytime the bubble will expand and you can see some of my parts actually got repaired there. So that is good to know. Now that we know that smoke columns contain nice stuff, let's see if we find some more of those. There's one over there. Oh, there are actually several ones over there. So let's just go ahead and drive towards them, potentially fighting some more enemies on the way. Okay, so far so enemy free. We are nearby this column. I think this is the closest one. So let's approach it. There is potentially another guy nearby. Hey, look at that, there is a tree burning. We have to take apart this tree because it contains a battery. Very, very important. We want to grab that, definitely. Come on, and there we go. Attach the battery, maybe right here. Of course, the battery needs to be recharged using the solar generator, so we cannot really do that on the vehicle just yet. However, before we move back to base and bring this battery there, oh, oh, we should avoid getting destroyed by this guy. Don't do that. I don't want him to destroy the battery right away. There we go. <laughs> Managed to take him apart. Oh no, he's actually still alive there. Can you see that? What a bugger. Give me your weapon. We're gonna shoot your cap until it is destroyed. He left us another, what is that? Either a repair bubble or a shield projector. Not yet sure, but we are going to expand our vehicle slightly by utilizing those blocks. We're gonna make it a little bit more stable with bigger wheels. That is gonna be good. Maybe we also get rid of the front wheels there. Ah, look at that. That is so much better. We're gonna protect the battery slightly by placing another block on top of it and another laser right there. Okay, we do not need any of the other stuff. Maybe we can put a backlight there. That of course could be very beautiful in the end. However, before we visit the next column, I really want to get my vehicle repaired once more. I want to bring back a bunch of my materials. Oh geez, no, this guy is shooting at us. You are not gonna do that. You are not gonna win, my friend, no. Give me that weapon, thank you. And maybe another block. 
Yeah, my tech is very, very unstable at the moment. The weight distribution is horrible, but sometimes we'll have to do that in order to bring back important stuff. There we go. We have arrived at the base. Let's make sure that my vessel gets repaired. Okay, very good. Very good. Now we are going to detach a bunch of those blocks. We do not really need that many. We also don't want the battery. We want to load it up right here. You can see now it is being recharged which of course is great. And what do we have here? Yeah, it is a shield projector. You can see it has a different color. So it might actually be good to have that on my own vessel. We could, for instance, take this fully charged battery and place it right here. Gonna have a gun on top of it and then this shield projector right in front of it. And you can see now my vessel is protected as long as we do have some battery power. That is actually good. We're gonna attach two more lasers and now we're gonna make our way back to this last smoke column that we have seen. Oh geez, we got another little enemy right here. Doesn't seem to be very focused on me, but he does have a tech that I definitely want, which is the radar right here. Right now we do not have really a minimap, we just have some kind of a radar, but if we place that right here, it turns much more into a minimap. No, it's actually still a radar, but it is expanded. Anyways, I found the other smoke column, so we shall make our way over there before we actually lose all the power on the battery. I think it's draining constantly, so you have to be aware of that. Not gonna be protected forever. So I wonder, what will we find here? Hopefully another great part for our tech. Of course, there is someone protecting everything, so we shall take him apart. There we go. Ah, uh, okay, so this was actually about the radar, which we did get previously, so we don't really need to pick it up if we don't want to. And there's even another guy with a radar dish. Come on, why don't you guys give up already? Oh, 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 get away from him. He actually managed to damage us slightly with his final explosion. Of course, we do not really appreciate that. But it's gonna be fine. Look at that. There are actually several biomes, as you can see. But I'm pretty sure that the desert will have more difficult enemies. However, what the heck is that? It looks like a plane. It is actually a freaking plane. I don't believe this. So if I do recall correctly, what we can do with those guys is actually take our own cab right here and place it right on top of here. No, I thought that's how I did it the last time. However, we might not be at this part of the game just yet. However, there is a message about Tony somehow and I think it's all about those guys right here. What do you want from me? He does have an additional battery that is good. We definitely can use an additional battery, additional blocks as well and that is about it. Then I want to make my way back to the station so that we can heal ourselves up again, maybe recharge the batteries. We will be losing our shields momentarily though we might be able to take... Oh man look at this guy this is... Oh no! Thank god we still have a little bit of shields left, though they are not gonna last for very much longer. However, I managed to take most of his vessel part, actually everything, which gives us a great advantage. Now we do have lots and lots of blocks. Jeez, look at that. All of that for us. Thank you very much. With that, I'm actually gonna expand our base, though we might want to attach some more wheels to our baby here. Got an additional laser and even one more. What else do we have? Another laser. Oh geez, this guy was armored to the teeth. I'm surprised that we actually survived. Okay, there we go. I think we got it under control again. Now, I think it will be turning nighttime very soonish. We do have most of the parts in order to get ourselves going. The next thing we need to do is go to the trading station, which is all the way over there in the desert, I believe. And at the trading station, we'll be able to continue the quest and purchase additional blocks, such as a refinery, collectors and everything. You will have to collect materials, refine them and sell them. It's actually a really crazy what this game has to offer. However, guys, let me disassemble some parts of this vessel, attach it to our base right here, and then I'll be right back once we move to the next part of the quest. Okay, guys, it will be nighttime very soon, but I think I'm ready for actually another trip. This time the vehicle is set up a little bit more intelligently. We have delicate parts such as the radar dish and also the shield projector very protected. Oh geez, it is getting actually really dark here. Let's see if we can change the gamma just slightly. 
Oh yeah, that is actually much better. However, during the night this station is pretty much useless, at least the solar generator. We need to go to this question mark, so let's actually mount the two batteries just like that and with our protective shield we're gonna make our way over there. We also have a whole bunch of lasers attached to it as you can see and we also have an enemy to take out right over there and he shall not succeed with anything because we have beautiful shields. There we go, I think we did it. Yeah, look at that. We got the GSO license upgrade and we'll be able to purchase additional blocks. That is very good to know. What do you have for me? Oh, an additional shield bubble. That is good. We're gonna definitely utilize that. And of course, we're also gonna take all of the blocks because base expansion. And what is that? Oh, look at that. We even have a repair unit. We can repair our vessel on the go with that. So we'll be running out of battery charge soon enough. There's an additional battery, some more blocks and I guess the rest we just leave laying on the floor. So there's another stabilization wheel. Okay, everything else is good. Let's go ahead and actually click on this trading station and what we want to buy is a tractor pad. So in the block section, it is actually the first block. Let's buy that baby and it should be landing nearby. Yeah, look at that. We already got it. Let's put it here at the back as close as possible to the ground that what we can do now is actually take apart a bunch of materials such as this crystal here and I think you get more materials if you use the drills however you can see this thing is automatically picking up those materials and we can then bring it back to the station in order to make money out of it eventually you don't have to do this at this neutral trading station but you can set up your own trading stations you can even do it on the vessel itself it's kind of crazy great attach the delivery cannon to your tech I do not have a delivery cannon just yet. It claims that it has landed somewhere here, though it is kind of hard to see. Let's actually see if we can purchase it. Note the delivery cannon is still locked because we haven't discovered it yet. So since I don't see it laying anywhere on the floor, I guess we're just gonna have to find a vehicle which actually does have this cannon so that we can sell our materials at our own station and don't have to go into this dangerous territory. However, our tech is messy once again, so why don't we go ahead and get back to our station just to heal ourselves up, get rid of the additional things, and then we're gonna hunt for some more vehicles, hopefully getting that delivery cannon installed, and with that we're probably gonna gonna wrap up this first episode. There we go, it is daytime, let's plot our batteries down here. We're also gonna expand this station a little bit with the additional blocks that we got. Now we even have this shield projector for the station itself, so we can make this a little bit more secure. And once those batteries are finally charged, we'll be going into the field once again. I'm sure we'll be successful eventually. Okay, there we go. This is our new vessel. Let's go ahead and drive back towards the trading station. Maybe in the daytime we'll be able to find this delivery cannon that they claim has landed next to the station. Good, making some more money. Some more BB. Oh, well, I'm not entirely sure. Let's just check this guy out. He seems to have some new kinds of wheels that I'm definitely interested in. He's already rendered pretty much useless. Come on, let me finish you. Oh, we get an additional gun. Let's actually install that. That is something new. Oh man, what a nervous bastard. Come on. There we go. We did it. We finally did it and hopefully... Ah, no. One wheel actually exploded. That is really bad. Let's see. Let's actually exchange the back wheels. Gonna use this one and they are both blinking. So it doesn't matter which one we take and... Oh yeah, much better. We get a much better acceleration with this. Attach some additional blocks right here. New types of blocks. And I guess we take this wheel with us even though right now we cannot really use it. Anyways, guys, I really, really want to find a guy with a delivery cannon. Though this guy does also have some new kinds of blocks we haven't seen just yet. There we go. For instance, this one. What is this? A pusher plow. Oh, that is crazy. Do we take that with us? I don't think so. We just have to attach it to our vehicle at least once so that it is going to be unlocked. But we can definitely use the drill in the front. That's going to be good. Oh, look at that. That looks promising. They are actually fighting amongst each other and we have found another guy right here that we can easily take apart because he's very confused. There we go. Yeah, that should have done the trick. No, he's still alive. What a bugger. But he does have new kinds of weapons. Look at that. Some kind of rocket launchers. Oh man, we do not have space, but we have enough space to at least take them with us. And this is also something new. Yeah, look at that. Another laser. And definitely taking that. Right now, we do not really have space to place them very efficiently. 
But you know, the most important part as always is to bring this stuff back to the base and make something useful out of it. What is this? Another drill. Oh jeez, look at our vessel once again. It is crazy. Cannot go really far without stocking up. And what do you want? You have no chance. Look at us. There we go. Nothing really useful other than blocks here as well. But I would say with this amount of blocks, it's time to get back to our base again. Maybe load up our batteries, do some expansion on our vehicle. And once that is done, we are going to continue with our quest to find the delivery cannon and set up our automatic refining resources system. Something you can definitely look forward to. However, guys, thank you so much for watching this first episode. Don't forget to leave down your support. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you think about this game. Have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye bye.